hey, it turns out that I'm not the only one that didn't understand my bank statement. Ah, oh, I feel so much better. Of course, I'm not running the whole thing either. Welcome to New York City, the financial capital of the whoops. Okay, former financial capital of the world. Oh my goodness, it's happening here. It turns out when banks compete, you lose. So the guys who got us into this trouble are all meeting now to get us out of the trouble. Oh sure, I believe that. That's why it's important to keep your money close, which is what I'm doing. The whole message from the guys, which treated the whole market as sort of like a crap stable or a big lottery, is privatize profits, mm -hmm, you don't see it, or and socialize losses. That's where you and I come in. Ugh, I can't wait for the day we can tar and feather that Alan Greenspan, who was a financial community organizer, and just drag him up and down the street a little bit. In New York, you couldn't do it today though. Oh Lord, it's crowded out there. The UN General Assembly is meeting as they do every year. The great news is this year they're meeting and it's really good news for the limo drivers who now finally have something to do after the collapse of the financial markets. Oh yeah, and they're driving everybody around, driving Sarah Palin around. You can take pictures of her, but you cannot talk to her. She's getting ready for the vice presidential debate. Have a little respect for her. And she's meeting all the heads of state. She's meeting them, they're like, average like 24 seconds. She met with Henry Kissinger. She didn't understand what he said. We don't either. Can't wait to drag him up and down the street a little bit too. But uh, Sarah is just around town. She's perky. Oh yeah, she's fertile as all get out. And I think she looks cute, I'm telling you. And I think, call me crazy, but I think it's because she's wearing her CoverGirl makeup. Now, did you know about this? I am the last to know these things, but apparently Ellen DeGeneres, our own Ellen, has been made spokesperson for CoverGirl makeup. That's why I'm wearing this morning, pinch me pink, I don't believe it, Lip gloss. Yeah, we have our own lipstick lesbian now. I'm so glad it wasn't when that, that whole week when they were doing the lipstick on pigs thing. That would have made me mad. Urgh. But apparently, Ellen speaks to the soft inner butch of many American women. Isn't that fun? I can't wait till they start wearing sort of variants of tuxedo-y kind of Fred Siegel sneaker kind of faux bow ties. Wouldn't that be fun? <sighs> Anyway, that's the good news. So the money you save on your CoverGirl makeup, because I don't think the queens are buying it, you know, because it does kind of parch your skin a little bit. Sorry, Ellen. Uh, sort of like, you know, just that second before the glass ceiling breaks. That's sort of that crackle. That's what it looks like. But anyway, so the money you save, here's the deal. Send it to Obama. Get out there and work. We've still got time. And I'm optimistic. I really am. This economy, stupid, is bad for us, but good for us, too. And if you got a little money after that, send it out to California to No on 8. They're trying to defeat that horrible nuisance ballot initiative to ban gay marriage. So let's get busy. Apply your makeup, sisters, and let's get out there.